Hey there, YouTube Arenos! We're gonna make some custom pint glasses today. First step in making a custom pint glass is making a stencil. Now, you can hand cut a stencil. I have a Cricut, so I'm gonna use the Cricut, but you could also hand cut it or use anything you'd like as a stencil. Um, now, we're gonna just cut down the vinyl, get it ready to be applied, do what I believe in the Cricuting community is called weeding, though you can correct me below. Uh, just getting off the waste material to prep up the, uh, the what you actually want to etch. So putting on the transfer paper, getting it ready to be applied to the glass now. The glasses I bought on Amazon, you can buy them by the case. They're super easy uh, to get and not expensive at all. So I think I bought an 8-pack for not very much money. So I have plenty of glasses I can make. So just taking off that transfer paper. And then now um, it the cream that you use to etch doesn't flow very quickly. So you don't have to really worry about runs too much, but I still always put blue tape around just to make sure that if I have any runs, I don't have to worry about them. So now it's time to start the process. So what I'm gonna do is I uh, take a towel. Um, the reason why I use a towel is so I can bunch it up so the glasses don't run. In case I have any drip, uh, it also protects the table. And now we're going to take that armor etch. We're going to shake it up really good. And that armor etch is available at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, and then you want to use gloves. It's very important. Safety is important because that stuff will eat your skin. So now we're going to apply the, the cream. And the rule here is you want to apply it thick enough where you can't really see what's underneath it. And you're going to wait seven minutes. And then you're going to apply it all over again without washing off the old stuff. And then again, you're going to want a good thick cream on there. And then wait another seven minutes. So we're talking 14 to 15 minutes total. And then you're going to rinse it off. And just rinse it off with water. It'll neutralize the acid. It'll keep you uh, nice and safe. And give it a uh, start clearing off all of your bits of masking. And there you go. You have a custom pint glass. Ah, uh, refreshing. So there you go. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe.